to tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all off season about our season open opponent. And they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it would have been a long story. night. Here's going. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tough rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. Second and ten. Golf again. And he fires one incomplete. The effort's always going to be there. Everyone's always going to try and make a catch, but underthrown balls, I think, are the toughest ones to come back and get because usually your momentum's going in the opposite direction when you're trying to stop, break, and come back and get it. To the air again. Golf. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. tackle but then quickly brought down give him three on first down it'll set up a second and seven one thing to keep in mind partner especially in the second half when you've got a running back of this size of these dimensions i can just tell you attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half maybe not so much in the second half and some of these shorter games turn into bigger runs later and he takes it down to the 10 yard line it's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, he tried to bounce it outside, but that's obviously not his game. He's too much of a straight-line runner. Yeah, him in the outer third of the field, not a recipe for success. That time a loss. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. He'll get it up the middle. And he'll be taken down here at about the eleven. It's a pickup of three, but still a little work to do on third and goal. And that was a good collision right there. And I know this as a former defender. If you're playing linebacker, you're going through a checklist on every play on who you think's going to get the ball, where you think the ball's going to go. Rarely do you expect the fullback to go. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? From the gun, here's Gold. Oh, it's a touchdown if he holds on. Instead, it's fourth down. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. Five, now. Look at 
56. Lucky 56. Ah! On first and 10, Finley dancing to his left. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. It's a big time play there for the G Man. 42 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. A first down carry here for Johnson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Bud Dupree, a former first-round pick, in on the stop. Second down, Johnson. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. Looking to throw. Finley underneath for Johnson. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Call it a three-yard gain, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. And that is not going to get there. Oh, he missed it short. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. So from the 36 now, first and 10. First and ten, gone. Flushed out right. It's caught by Mike Evans. And at a 42-yard line here and brought down there. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Here we go. Now an inside draw. This is their fullback. A big play on the ground there. It goes for 36 yards. Our eyes and attention are on the fullback. Big time carry, big yardage. But how about the guys up front, the offensive line? A lot of people think they may have to block it differently for the fullback to get big yardage. They really don't. Because he's big, strong, and powerful, a lot of times he makes his own way. They may not have to block as hard. They'll run here with the line. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. And now a carry here for their fullback. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. Well, after that pickup of a first down, I think some of the defensive guys are going to be looking over their coordinator and saying that was not in the scouting report. That went against every tendency most teams have. You don't usually hand the ball to your big guy in that situation. Sometimes you catch him by surprise. Now a first down throw. Gone. And did he get the feet down? No. They'll say he did not. It's incomplete. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, you need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Go. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. They get it to him running left. And he's going to battle his way down right around the two-yard line. A nice run there, eight yards, moves him much closer to the goal line now for third down. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to East Rutherford, but first this time out. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. 
And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave them with some options here on fourth and inches. Value three, value three. Go, go, go. Meeting the two yards, they run with their fullback. Oh, and I think he went backward. He did. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And this Giants defense able to come up with a goal line stand. And now out come the Giants. And they've got to be a little bit frustrated about that last drive. Missed field goal. Always hurts a team because, you know, you've put something out there. You've given yourself a chance. You're in range, and the ball doesn't go through the post. But it's not something to panic about, I don't believe. Just keep playing and keep going. Well, he got what he could there, just trying to move God, forward and, and gain a little God. bit of yardage and create some space. You know the pressure is going to be tough defensively. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. Dumping it off for Johnson. And all the way down to the 35. A big play there on the catch and run. 62 yards. As we continue to advance in the NFL, as people continue to scout players, they really don't care as much about body types as they care about those guys who can make people miss, run through tackles, and gain all that additional run after catch. Anybody has that ability, they want them on their team. And yeah, they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. The Panthers are going to take another timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Throwing on first down. Finley into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Sean Davis with a pick. He's at the 40. Past the 20. 10. And he will score. Touchdown Panthers. Now the extra point. Point after right down the middle. And the lead is now 10-7. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. To throw on second down. Finley. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Green 39. Green 39. On third down. Finley. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Bud Dupree. And he's given his guys a shot for late points as they will take over in range for a field goal or maybe more. After the interception, here's Gall. Steps away to his left. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Two, two. Set. And he quickly clocks it, and they're going to have a good shot at getting three here before the break. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. He connected on his first. This time it's 39 yards away. So we come upon halftime, intermission here with the visiting Panthers taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. 
This is taken at the three. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Thicker the thicker the thicker the ply, thicker the ply, thicker the bag. Green them a bite and I lace them a beamer. I'm Brian O'Connor, driving it fast. They were just hating 'cause they in the way and the way I've been made it. The f*** is mad, man. In them bag and I'm all in my bag. Why well, ain't holding on? Just a little merle. Out the cutie. Now I don't give a, I don't give a. Tell me why I would on the rose bar couch in my bag. Bands in my denim, denim, denim. In my denim, she was trying to. For a doubt, she don't give a. She was in her bag, Fendi and Soleil, asked for a burger, watch 
in the front seat that a fault out J. We living so wild like nine when she was on, she was on and kiss. We was on roll like tires. What we gon' be left? I'm in my bag like like I'm in my bag, my I'm really just running for money. I'm love flow, Joe chasing a check. I'm really gon' run up the money. I'm Carl Lewis, really running the best. Calm moving through these hoovers, I'm a noob with the bag, baby. Never feeling stress. Calm moving through these hoovers, I'm a noob with the bag, baby. Never feeling stress. I'm really just running for money. I'm love flow, Joe chasing a check. I'm really gon' run up the money. I'm Carl Lewis, really running the best. Calm moving through these hoovers, I'm a noob with the bag, baby. Never feeling stress. Calm moving through these hoovers, I'm a noob with the Bag, baby, never feel stress. They got a bag, they got a beef, they got a problem, they got a big up, be one of the one of the all on the same. Bro, at the end of the month, flow, Joe, kill my one duck, keep clean. Never let them touch fits like temper, tantrums, girl, come back there. All in the club, uh. And bring out your girlfriends, girl, hopping up about a pearl six. Louis speed bag glued to her wrist. She was getting paid. She ain't think a thing, but she was thinking slay. We blade thicker than a snake. Y'all in her bag, I probably should I'm really just running for money I'm love flow, Joe chasing a check I'm really gonna run up the money I'm Carl Lewis, really running the best Car moving through these hoovers, I'm a noob with the bag, baby, never feeling stress Car moving through these hoovers, I'm a noob with the bag, baby, never feeling stress I'm really just running for money I'm love flow, Joe chasing a check I'm really gonna run up the money I'm Carl Lewis, really running the best Car moving through these hoovers, I'm a noob with the bag, baby, never feeling stress Car moving through these Ubers, I maneuver with the bag, baby, never feeling stress. Can you hear me? 